We're playing a fitness dice game today. I'm gonna put my trainers, Logan Tate's here too. We're all gonna do it. We're gonna put them on the spot today. Mm -hmm. We've assigned a number to each die. Die, dice. Die, I think. Die. Yeah. Die, multi die. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're here to die. Roll to roll. Roll <laughs> oh, die. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh man. All right. Like so we're here to roll dice. Each dice has a number assigned to it, and we're gonna put the trainers on the spot. See if they can come up with the most unique exercises. So like. Number one is chest on the first die, and number one is on the second die is dumbbell. So if you roll two ones, you'd have to come up with a chest dumbbell exercise. Mm. Like a dumbbell chest press, that's gonna be pretty boring. So we're gonna leave it up to the people. You vote which trainer got it right, and what was the coolest exercise. So I'll go first, here we go. All right. Here we go. Snake eyes, snake eyes baby. Snake eyes. Oh. Five and four, which, so. Which one's first? Abs. Oh, okay. And then... With a plate. With, with a plate. plate. Oh, All, right. Right. All, right. All right, so plate and abs. This is what I'm doing. I'm doing a plank push. I like to do this with some of my clients. We've used it with kettlebells before. But we're going to be in a plank. We're going to stand over top of it. We're just going to pull it across. Mm. We're trying to stay as steady as possible. Using a little bit of delts too. But a lot of core here. I call them the plank push. You let me know. I think this is a pretty good one, but we'll see what the other guys got. I like that. All right, who's up next? Who wants to go to? Are we all doing plate abs or are we No, so now you roll. You roll. All right, let me see what I got here. All right, let me see what I got here. Give me here. one shot. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes, baby. Different. Is that one? That's that, that'll be the dice That's one. So this dice one is legs. Okay, and then five. KB. Five's the kettlebell. Kettlebell, right. kettlebell. kettlebell. Listen, kettlebell. listen. You want unique leg kettlebell exercises. You give this to anybody on the market, you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna be like, let's do some goblet squats. But I'm a little bit more unique than that, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna train a little bit of that hip flexor. Oh, raise it. Yeah. Control it on the way down, have a nice steady face, raise it up to about yeah. 90. This is a good variation for like a hanging knee raise, okay. but you're gonna get a little bit more stability, a little shaky. Kettlebell legs, maybe what you like that. that. You, you picked know. a heavy weight there. I don't want my foot to fit. I got these thick Yeezys on. All right, Jake's got big feet, big feet everyone. Uh, All right, big socks. Big socks. Here we go. All right. Noah's up. Closest I to you is number one. All right, she needs some new nails. Here we go. Two, four. So you get legs. Legs and a plate. Legs and a plate. Legs and a plate. Oh, only a plate. Just yeah. a plate. Only a plate. Only a plate. That's all you get. You can use multiple plates. Sure. Yeah, it's yeah. Very plate. That's it. <laughs> I see the gears turning. His gears are turning. How smart is your trainer? Here we go. What's he got? All right, just because these are the calibrated, they're pretty. We're gonna stack two to get some depth. Hold it. He, he did. He did quads. We're running. We're running hammies. Hammies. Okay. <laughs> Toe elevated. Here's some RDLs. Let's get deep in there. Oh, all right. Like, all right. like a traditional yeah. movement. Yeah, yeah. Just to make it a little more grip here. Yeah. yeah. All right. Tell them why you put the toes up, no? We're trying to really stretch that posterior leg. Whoa. Yeah. Right. I like it. That's a good one. That was a tough one. Though. Put it for the good ham goodness. dogs. Plate elevation makes a big difference. All right. All right. We got Logan to finish this out here. Yeah. You got it. I don't know. This is more of an IQ test than it is a fitness test. Let's see it. Here we go, here we go. Six and four. Back with a plate. Back with a plate. How inventive can you get? Uh-oh. Okay. What's the other one? We got a lot of plates. Can we use a bench too? Sure, sure. Let's use it all. All right. I think I know where this is. Okay. You know, sometimes you don't have dumbbells, so you just gotta Yeah, eat. not everyone has yeah. dumbbells. Oh, I like it. Function, function, it. Function, function just for the workout. Show that for your finger grip. Chest right supported. Yeah. Alright. Shrugs. Oh, 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 like a lot of grip. And this one's good too, guys, because we're hitting back. And Logan's also working his grip here, which is very closely related to a lot of back movements, right? Oh, yeah. That's actually pretty creative. I like that one. Hey, dice game, maybe we make this thing a consistent thing. I like keeping them on their toes, and it's fun. So, thanks for tuning in. Tell us who won. We gotta know who won. We had the most creative, the coolest exercise given the circumstances. You need the glutes.